Hi guys, um, how are you all doing? Good morning, it's around um, 8 now and um, I just woke up at 7.30 and uh, just no mind uh, my mother in the kitchen work, she's blending something so just ignore the noise um, uh, so how are you all? like I think I'm recording after like one and a half like months so I hope all of y'all are doing really well um, Mang hitano ah, I can eat. Mang then go to college. Mang record kana ni thing. I I feel a bit guilty about it too, cause I was not able to like. Uh, I had a lot of videos in my mind, but I couldn't attempt to do them. So I'm very sorry about that. But I think uh, from September, I thought I'm going to keep vlogging. So for today, um, I'm thinking of answering a few comments I mean a few questions that have come through the comments uh, which I thought uh, you all were waiting so uh, I've been asked like two questions mainly uh, one was uh, about acne uh, how I cured it and how did the things go so that was one question that I've been asked recently and the other one uh, was about my degree and the job opportunities and uh, the, about the modules and uh, about my university so those are the two questions that have been asked a lot through the comments from the first video i'll be answering about the acne my acne journey um i mean my acne healing journey so um yeah so let's get into the video yeah so what i did was i sort of did a jot down list of what i'm going to tell because otherwise i'm forgetting things so that's very normal for me i totally forget a lot of things uh, so i need to totally get it down write it down jot it down so that i can talk properly so i want to tell all the details because this is something i'm doing as a support to all the girls who are struggling because i don't want everyone to go through the you know like the phase where i, I was researching and i was finding stuff and then only the treatments you know set aligned for me after like one or two years only the things started settling so, so for the record uh, in 2022 and 2021 beginning that's when i started having all this acne and all these symptoms started appearing so um I'd say um, 2021, my 21st birthday, that's what I can remember. So those days, uh, I can remember I started having these uh, severe mood swings. Um, that, yeah, that was related to PMS. So um, I used to have really bad mood swings and really bad cramps when I had my periods. So, uh, and then it continued. I started from severe cramps. So i had this you know i couldn't wait it's not something that's normal like we used to, we are having cramps like we are okay to have cramps uh, when you have periods but when it's severe like as in like you can't do anything in your life like you can't you know just get out of bed and walk that's literally that and you feel faintish you can't eat anything you're like having fever and all that so i mean as a normal person as a girl so um, having periods and having period cramps and you know having a regular mood swing those days it's totally not i'm talking about severe issues like very severe because you know like those days i couldn't you know concentrate on anything i was super stressed um i couldn't literally just you know get out of bed and walk i i was just screaming so um, as a remedy we used a heat patch and that's what we use and it and then painkillers heat patch and painkillers heat patch and painkillers for, for like months i've been doing that and i didn't so i think that was a mistake i didn't um, think of why i was having this much of a severe uh, cramp why i didn't have it during my school days or yeah when i was in school so i didn't have it those days but why am i having it now in a different way so 
so i that was th the thing that i didn't think about and then um in like the late 2021 i started getting acne uh, i used to have acne the normal acne that we get during our adolescence we all get that we have all been through that so that was normal back then it used to come it used to heal and uh, it didn't stay for like months on my face without healing so it was very normal so this is in 2022 where i started having a different acne that is hormonal acne and it used to stay in my face for like months sometimes the whole year it, it might stay as a small bump in my face it would go down so that is the cause of scarring actually so so uh, after the the pain because of the pain and those mood swings um only i started i mean i thought of going to a doctor uh, a doctor who is a specialist in that the, that they are called gynecologists right we are doctors so i went to one of them and the first one i uh, the first one i met uh, she was a lady doctor so she actually didn't much care about it when i said that i had severe cramps she just gave me a painkiller she didn't didn't have even scan do anything she just gave me a painkiller and i was very uh, irritated with that attitude she had uh, she didn't even ask a lot of questions uh, she was like it's normal just go home something something like that that was the vibe so i came home crying that day i felt very um, you know like alone in this so yeah so after that um, again like so things just uh, was okay and so i use this ayurveda stuff like um, so those kind of things to get my periods back into the cycle and it might help in my uh, regular maintenance of my cycle so it did help in some certain way but it is it was not the proper cure for it so it was not the root cause or anything i didn't treat my root cause i was just treating my symptoms from time to time that's what happened and then um, the symptoms so, so, sort of got very severe at one point and then i had to go visit another doctor so i consulted another VOG and i went to her and then she sort of she listened to me that day so she, she was listening and she understood what was happening and she said this was a hormonal imbalance she did uh, she did a few reports so from that we uh, identified that i had a hormonal imbalance which was very severe that, at that time because it was after some time like you know because we consulted a doctor and then after that uh, we we i didn't get any medication or anything i was just on painkiller when i had my cramps so after visiting her she did a few tests uh, that were related to hormones so i we figured that um, i had a severe hormonal imbalance uh, which i had testosterone hormone so that's why i uh, was having acne that's why uh, no, a lot of girls uh, start having acne, hormonal acne, because of the testosterone hormone. Like if that testosterone, I mean, testosterone hormone is a male hormone, but uh, it's also there in less amounts in our body as well. So uh, if that increases more than the range that should be there, then only uh, you get acne. So for girls, and we did a few scans as well. And uh, we figured that I had uh, I had cysts. This is a polycystic condition, uh, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. So PCOS or PCOD. So nowadays I see uh, like videos regarding these things. So I think back then it was not something that was common. Uh, but now i think they're talking about it so it's actually a good fact so so that we figured out and then we started treating for that so yeah the treatment plan was uh, i had to exercise i had i had to like walk run uh, i mean that's jogging mostly so for like around four kilometers every day 
and uh, I, and then she gave this meal plan that I had to follow um, and then yeah and then my stress management so PCOS was something that was related to stress she was talking about this stress all the time yeah so that was what and then I started doing treatments for like I did treatments for like one year yeah so now the acne is increased and also I was having this burning sensation in me uh, which I never had this is all new to me um, I was thinking whether this was something related to my periods again if it is it uh, because that was what I was having so I thought it was because of the hormonal change because I've heard that um, that when you are about to have your periods, your uh, for, for normal a, a normal temperature of a girl it sort of fluctuates, it increases. So I thought maybe it's something like that. But <coughs> but this uh, is very uh, uncomfortable for me to say stay, and uh, it was like my whole body like it was burning, burning from the inside, and I was not sweating. So if I sweated, then um, it was it will be okay because then the pain goes, you know, like the it gets colder, right? So I was not, uh, you know, sweating or anything. I was literally burning inside and it was very painful, right? It was very painful for me and very uncomfortable. So then only, um, uh, then I went to another VOC because I thought this is because of this hormonal issue so due to the imbalance of hormones this happens so i went to the doctor and uh, he uh, gave me treatment for the pcos he gave me different uh, medications uh, i mean he uh, yeah so he gave me different medications like uh, i got an anti-diabetic tablet and uh, and a pill and a vitamin that's what i got so i was thinking when i was coming home like whether this would work out uh, because uh, yeah so it will take some time because for hormonal pills to work out it takes some time so how am I going to bear the pain because I was so it was painful for me I couldn't do anything because those days I was having my I think uh, I was in my third year yeah I was I'm in my third year second semester or first I can't remember the uh, exact exactly I think it was first semester so I was in that also I was having exams and all that so uh, I wanted to get this cured because I couldn't do anything. I was I couldn't concentrate on my work. I was totally irritated and frustrated because it was painful for me. So um, then, um, yeah. So at one point, uh, now this comes to a level where I cannot bear. So like my mom used to like use cold patches. And she used to keep it in my body so that it sort of relieves the pain that I had. So um, that comes to that level. And I think I was studying for the exam those days. So I, now when I think about it, I feel very uh, happy because uh, I somehow managed to do my studies and all that. Um, thankfully, with the help of my parents. So I was uh, bearing all that and doing my work as well. So, now when i think about it i feel happy but that time it was a damn suffering we had to go to the doctor and then he prescribed me some medicine and all that and we identified that this is the physician doctor that who told me um, that this is anxiety but the burning sensation is because of anxiety so it was all anxiety all along i mean the burning sensation so that was because of anxiety he told me to relax and told me some tips and all that so in 2023 with the pills and with the relaxing uh, work that i did i used to meditate journal talk it out seek help when i needed so i didn't keep it inside so i did several stuff so with that i noticed the change in my face so uh, i was happy uh, my acne started reduced so it was not a linear cure or linear way of reduce reduction it was not that um it didn't reduce in a linear way it was always like it, it might ha i might not have any acne and then i might have a lot of acne the uh, couple of weeks later so something like that so it was not linear but um like that gradually with the year 
so it's sort of reduced so i I'll, I'll send you all um, i'll put a put a few pictures that i took uh, around the year because i really wanted to this vlog so i vlogged my journey so that i can properly tell you all how it went the journey so i'll put definitely put a few clips uh, uh, and pictures uh, of my face throughout the year and how it is now so um, yeah after that um, so what i did was i was taking the pills i took uh, the medications and i think that was one that helped me reduce and balance my hormones and um, so the few things that i have learned so first of all i should tell i am not a doctor a medical practitioner i'm not uh, a professional in this i'm just explaining um, my journey and what helped me so it might differ to everybody started being consistent with my food the exercises the my mental health and um, all that so that that's when i started noticing the changes so i think it's all about consistency without being stressed so that's what i wanted to tell then i started going to other skin clinic um in 2024 um uh, this year this year beginning i started going to the clinic um uh, it's a crystal skin clinic this is not a promotion or anything this is my journey so i started going there and i started treatment so it's it's been a couple of months and uh I'm seen. I've considerably seen a lot of um, difference in my face, my acne, and all that. So it has gradually reduced. So I'll put clips of uh, what I've been through and how my uh, face was in January this year, and then how it gradually um, reduced with time. So I had acne in the middle as well. It was not linear, as I said before. Uh, but overall i have noticed the difference so i'm very happy about that and um, finally when it comes to the tips of what i've learned through my journey is um, first of all um, if you're having hormonal acne i think you should go visit the doctor because uh, home remedies or just controlling your stress I don't think it's going to work out. If there has happened a certain imbalance in your body, you should consult a doctor and uh, talk with them because they know uh, what is uh, better for you, right? So um, I think it's better to talk with your doctor and see what you can do. The first thing, so because uh, the medicine and all that, the help that they gave me is. The doctor that I visited in 2023 gave me is the one that has uh, helped me so far. So I'm not going to tell that this is all because of what I did. And then um, what we have to do is manage stress. So that was the second thing that I had to uh, have an eye on. Because uh, I was a person who would get stressed easily. Uh, but if you have effective management techniques, if you have remedies that you can relax yourself you know like this is something that you have to find out through experiments uh, when you are doing it with you like uh, when you're practicing it on yourself uh, you will realize a technique that's suitable for you that works for you so for me uh, meditation and listening to affirmations uh, calms me down so like now in the youtube i can find a lot of affirmations and meditations right so it's very easy now um, so when I listen to them, um, whenever I'm feeling a rush in my thoughts or certain kind of uh, rushing emotions, I always start to meditate. Uh, you know, I, I have a certain routine that I, I do uh, whenever I feel um, stressed. So first I take a shower, a nice cold shower and then um, I start meditating so then it gradually reduces and it comes back to normal even second thing that I try after meditation is talk talk to a friend talk to a loved one you should be very careful because you should talk to a person who would understand you not a person who would let you doubt 
a person who should who can understand you who can support you so that's something that's very important when you're talking so there are people who would like think that um, crying and uh, you know letting your emotions out is a weakness so some people think like that so in these kind of situations when you're dealing with the, those kind of people you might uh, uh, be told not to uh, tell your tell out your feelings just to keep it up right so that's not what we want so we need to let out we need to talk we need to get support that's why we have all our loved ones around it right to get help when you need it and then practicing self-care journaling right i've been journaling and i've been practicing skincare and all that to relax myself whenever i'm feeling down and uh, all that so there are different self-care practices so those are the two that i regularly do uh, so i think uh, for everybody it's different so it's better like you find what makes you happy yeah so i hope all of you all have gained something from this video so i'm grateful for all of you all who listen to me so yeah um thank you all for listening to the video and i hope i have answered a lot of questions uh, from what i told a lot of questions of you all so yeah uh please feel free to uh leave questions uh, leave comments and i'll definitely answer it in my upcoming videos and I'm, i'll make sure that i'll be uploading videos consistently this time for sure um yeah so i'll see you back next time bye